Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Do whatever your soul is guiding you to do if you are being guided to just watch. That is appreciated as well. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness and many, many blessings to you and your families. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. All evil plans of the enemies against you have been dismantled immediately and permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. Whatever the enemy stole from you is being returned to you. Okay, so we have a Queen of Pentacles out here, followed by the Seven of Pentacles. So you could be receiving some type of promotion or elevation in life. Um, you have put in quite a lot of work. This could be something you've been working on for quite a while, or someone interfered with some type of work you did in the past for an institution, some type of collaboration. You could have worked for a company before, and maybe you ended up losing some type of promotion because of interference in the background. There could be a queen of pentacles that has been waiting on some type of promotion as well that's not due to her. Someone may have stolen some type of upgrade from another person, but it is being taken away from them and possibly given to the right person or given to someone else. So if you are someone that worked for this institution, if they reach out to you and say, hey, we would like for you to return back to work. We have this uh, position available for you. Um, you know, we can discuss your wages and things like that. Um, you are going to have the option to decide if you want to move forward with this company or if you just want to cut your ties with them. Maybe some of you had not so good experiences with these companies. Um, because of the higher fan out here, I'm seeing more so of an institution. I'm not seeing anything about marriage, okay? So it's like you were working for a company and you dedicated yourself to your work. You put in all this effort, time, and energy, and you are waiting for some type of growth, some type of elevation, promotion within the company, but then someone interfered with it. Um, this could have been some type of collaboration behind the scenes that you were not aware of. And maybe someone thought they wouldn't be found out about something they did. Uh, you could be the queen of pentacles and the other person could be a queen of pentacles as well. So you are up against someone else. So absolutely, you may choose to walk away from this institution. And there are also there's something going on where they're also being forced to kind of walk away or fix something and then kind of just let it go. And you are being guided to kind of walk away, like let it go. It's probably not for your higher highest good, right? To go back to this company because someone may end up saying something to you that's going to get you out of alignment, may, maybe put you back in some type of state of mind that you have healed from or you have kind of grown from. So you may be being advised by spirit to kind of let go because there's a lot of toxicity going on within that company. Um, but it's up to you what you decide to do, right? Um, whatever is meant for you will be given to you. Yeah, you're going to have to let go. It's not for your highest good. The position or whatever these people are offering you may seem really promising, but you have a higher calling on your life. Um, you are meant to heal people and things of that nature for some of you. Some of you are going to be creating businesses or innovating new inventions and things like that that are going to be absolutely essential in other people's lives and things like that. But you're going to have to walk away. You may think like you're losing something, but you're not really losing anything. This organization as well is going to be kind of feeling like they lost a really good opportunity with someone like you because they're, they will now see that you are someone beneficial to have around. I hear someone saying, what a loss. Um, and they're saying that because they're losing you, you're not going to want to work with these people for a lot of you. Um, because the memories, they're just not good. Like you don't have any fond memories of being around these people. Um, and then you just don't want to reopen a wound that has healed. So I don't blame you all for that. that I don't blame you all that don't want to return 
uh, to this organization. There is something going on with someone from your past as well. You two may have worked together. It's what I'm saying. So Spirit is letting you know you worked with someone in, in an institution that is heartbroken because you won't be returning. It's that you've kind of chosen to walk away. Uh, someone may be heartbroken as well because they're going to have to walk away from this institution. It may have caused them some type of loss due to a collaboration by a group of people behind the scenes. These could be people that they thought were friends, genuine friends and things like that. But they're realizing that all of these people betrayed them, right? Um, and it was very strategic on how these people did it. It was not accidental. This could be a king of cups. Um, this person may have a lot of passion for you and things like that, but it's like they allow people to talk them out of some type of emotions they have for you. Um, whereas they knew you and them had some type of really beautiful and genuine connection, they chose to listen to what this institution, this group was telling them, telling them about you and it was nothing positive. This person is having fun memories of you and things like that. It's like they're saying, oh, wow. So this person really was genuine. I really did mess up. I took advice from the wrong person. Um, like they have a lot of thoughts running through their mind. This could be someone you had some type of contract with, soul contract. This could have been like your your twin flame. They may want to take action to come towards you, things of that nature, to kind of mend things with you. But it's absolutely difficult because they may have done something to interfere with you moving forward in this company or something like that for some of you. Um, is that someone had a say? in how you are going to progress in a situation or they had the opportunity to fix things for you to make sure things went in your favor because it would have been the right thing to do but someone made a wrong turn and now it has come back to bite them in the behind uh, so this is what we have here yeah they betray your friendship absolutely Someone betray your friendship. You extended some type of genuine friendship with to this person, and they betrayed you. They betray your connection. They betray your friendship, um, and it's not something they are going to be able to get back. They may be having to walk away because you have some type of new contract with a higher level soulmate. Some of you haven't even met this new person, but this person, this person from the past, is absolutely devastated. For some of you, this is an ex that betrayed you and chose someone else over you, but they're realizing that the person they chose over you was a fraud. They were not genuine. Someone betrayed them. It's like someone leaves you for someone and then that person leaves them for another person. Um, it's just, it's crazy. But that is how karma works. It's that what you do to another will be done unto you 10 times full. And this masculine is going through some type of really horrendous experience. He may be wanting to reach out to you for healing, for comfort. Someone finds you to be comforting, but it's now like the fact that they are going through this experience. This is now the time that they're seeing that you are someone genuine, someone that they should have been more committed to, things of that nature, because you're showing up here in a Queen of Pentacles energy. This means that you are someone that is worth a commitment, but this person chose to give their commitment to someone else, and it's not going too well. They saw this person in this energy, someone you uh, young was about to come out. So someone may have left a wife material for a younger energy and it came back to bite them in the behind. That is crazy. Is there someone, I don't know if maybe they get like a thrill out of dating young people. You may be a little bit more mature. It doesn't have to be in age. It could just be that your energy is a little bit more mature. You're about your business and things like that, taking care of the family, you know, doing what matters, whereas they possibly went to a younger energy because their energy was vibrant and things like that. Um, it's not that the Queen of Pentacles energy is not vibrant, but it's more mature and sturdy. Whereas the Six of Cups energy, it has to be with having like a youthful energy about yourself, right? Uh, so this is a genuine energy, sincere. This is what this person thought they were getting into, but it was not. It was quite the opposite, okay? So there's a lot of different scenarios going on. Some of you, it has to do with work, and some of you, it has to do with a past connection. And for some of you, this is combined. Like, you had this connection with someone that you worked with, and they had the ability 
to fix, to correct something for you. Um, and they chose to do the wrong thing because they because they had too many people in their ears. These could be people that they had known for a long time, people they probably probably called friends, people they called family, um, and the family led them astray. There was some type of collaboration behind the scenes. There's like a masculine, a toxic masculine that I'm getting that corroborated with another with a feminine energy. It's like two masculines were working with a feminine energy. One masculine is like a warlord. And I don't really like to use that word to describe these types of people, but this is someone that does like dark manipulations behind the scenes. This is someone into dark work. He and this feminine energy have some type of relationship going on. He's married, she's not, but they have some type of toxic relationship going on. It's really interesting, the dynamic of this relationship. And then the third masculine was someone that was like funding some type of collaboration where they were causing a lot of manipulation and deceit around them. And it has something to do with this relationship. Look at that. It has something to do with your genuine relationship you have with this person, this King of Cups, right? Uh, so they may have seen that you, you and this person had a genuine connection. Maybe you two were meant to be something like that. And the other masculine was paying people around to cause some type of illusions, right? Or just bribing people or getting people to agree with him. It doesn't have to be bribery. It could have just been getting people to agree with him. Um, this is kind of like an energy work that is really interesting. A lot of the times people say, oh, dark workers like to step in people energy and things like that. But they say they don't know how it is that they do that. Let me simplify it as much as I can. So what a dark worker will do if they see you as someone sincere, genuine, right, and you have some type of strong connection to source, and they see that you're someone very uh, happy, very polite, you treat people kindly, you go out of your way to help people and things like that, they will start to take on that persona. But while they're taking on their persona, they're taking actions behind the scenes to interfere with your life. They want to take your energy, right? So that's how they do it. They cause mayhem in your life. So you're out of balance. You're having to worry all the time. You're, you know, uncertain of yourself, things like that. Whereas they're pretending to be you and they'll get to a point where they, they've kind of master how to be you. And because they're putting that energy out, then they may start attracting certain uh, uh, um, blessings and things like that from people around them. So they people can see them and say oh you know steve is really nice steve always goes out for other goes out of his way for other people but steve is not naturally nice steve is really malicious but steve has learned how to mask his personality uh so now this maybe let's say like a boss is watching steve do all of this kind stuff and then he may decide oh we're going to give steve a promotion Meanwhile, you, the sincere and genuine person, your life is out of balance because of things Steve is doing behind the scenes and you just don't understand what's going on because when you come across Steve, Steve seems to be very genuine and nice. You may even from time to time sit down and talk to Steve about what you're going through. You just don't understand why your life is the way it is. Um, now you're in some type of deplorable state where it's hard for you to manifest because you're not living in the state of mind and heart that you're naturally supposed to be in so you can manifest because you manifest better when you are in a blissful, happy state, right? Uh, so this is how they work. They siphon your energy by causing chaos in your life and then pretending to be you. They become so good at pretending to be you that they start receiving opportunities that are naturally supposed to be yours. But there is something these types of people always uh, uh, fail to take into consideration. And I really don't want to say it on this channel because it needs to stay the way it is. Um, because if I say it, then people come become aware of it and then they don't get caught doing what it is they're doing. So I'm not going to say something that what it is that they're not aware of when they're doing these types of things. But, um, for a lack of a better term, I just say, you know, balance is always burnt into whatever it is you're doing. Let's put it that way. Okay. But there's always divine interference, <laughs> divine interference. There is absolutely always divine interference with these types of things. So I wouldn't really uh, uh, um, lose sleep over these kind of things. 
And I'm saying that it sounds like I'm disregarding the relevance of it, but I've been through this whole situation too with someone trying to step in my energy, pretending to be something that they were not. Um, when I first experienced it, it was a really rude awakening. And I just didn't understand because I don't think that way. I don't see people and like I'm like, oh, I need to be like them. And, you know, I don't think that way. But it was really shocking for me to see someone go to the lengths that this woman went through to pretend to be something she was not. And when I say it was like a rude awakening for me, it was absolutely a rude awakening. But I also know divine just justice was broad divine intervention was brought into that situation and i know for a fact that someone is, that, that she is going through some type of rude awakening as well but in a different way than i was okay yeah Ooh. lord jesus have mercy we have the ten of swords out here followed by the high priestess someone listened to the wrong person it's like they were planning to come do you something they were planning to come do you something. Someone betrayed a high priestess. Maybe someone told them that you were into dark work, into manipulations and things like that. But you're absolutely not. Someone is upset because you spoke the truth. You did something that was right. You brought light and you brought attention to something. And now all of the moves and things they've been doing behind the scenes, all the manipulations and things like that they've been doing behind the scenes, it's not working anymore because you advocated either for yourself or for someone. Someone knows that you are not an energy to be played with. I don't know why it was given to me that way, but someone has come into the awareness that you are not an energy to be played with. They've played with other energies before behind the scenes and in their past. They've gotten away with it, but they are in the know now that you are not an energy to be played with it will always lead to a ten of swords for them basically what it is they are intending for you is what's going to happen to them um i don't like to touch on children topics but there is someone that's going through some type of karma is that she was sending some type of negative energy to someone else's child but then something ended up either <clears throat> i'm telling you i don't like to talk about this stuff she was sending some type of negative energy towards someone else's child, but then it ended up happening to either her or her child. Because I had a dream where a child was being dragged out of a grave. And this is because someone, like a parental figure, had done something to this child, whether it was an accident or intentional. It was divine intervention because this person was very stern on destroying a home for someone else. It's like they knew either you and your children are happy together and things like that and they made it their mission to you know try to destroy your home it's like someone coming up against a high priestess but they know their the high priestess is too strong for them like they don't stand a chance against this high priestess so because they know that they cannot defeat you they start coming after your children and the universe is that we're not having that it's like, I don't know how people are comfortable doing things like that. Even if it's just spiritual work, you should never feel comfortable coming after a child. But there's something going on with someone's child right now, and it's just not looking good. There's possibly some type of investigation, and I really don't like to touch on these topics because children are a sensitive topic for me. So, But there is something going on with that. Someone did not expect you to speak up about something that has been going on. And because you spoke up about it, it has illuminated quite a lot to someone, especially to this masculine energy that betrayed you. He may be keeping his distance from someone else or whoever this feminine energy is. It's like he's keeping his distance either from someone he's married to or this institution, this organization. He does not want anything to do with them anymore. Someone could be having some type of conflict with an entire organization. Is it really all of you were part of this? These are people that he did not expect to be causing all of these illusions. Someone feels like he trapped himself with these people. If he's working with them, obviously he can't just wake up and quit his job one day. He has to make plans and things like that, which is the Eight of Cups. Is that you're not leaving until you have everything put in place. All of your obligations at home are taken care of. Like, uh, you know, like your bills are paid. You know, you've put food out for the pet and things like that. Or you hire a pet sitter or you send the pet to a doggy daycare or something like that. 
right? So he's made sure all of his obligations are taken care of and he's walking away from this organization because they betray him heavily, right? Uh, someone is having a hard time staying in this King of uh, Cups energy um, and that's because he's going through some type of like rude awakening, some type of humbling experience, experiencing a lot of loss, uh, maybe experience some type of financial loss as well. It's like he was expecting some type of financial payout for something. Someone has some type of greed when it comes to finances. It's like someone offered him money as well for some of you to do something that was going to interfere with another person's livelihood. And instead of them remembering like the connection they had with you, they accepted the money only for them to find out that they had went up. Yeah went up against your twin, right? The star seed. They went up against someone genuine. They betrayed someone genuine. So this is what is going on, okay? And this person is having a very hard time like accepting this reality because they're. I'm telling you, you're an empress. This person is having a hard time accepting accepting this reality. I'm sorry, my like West African accent kicks in. We said things a little different, so it's okay. But this person is having a hard time accepting a reality where they cannot talk to you anymore. Someone is saying, is it really over? Am I really never going to talk to you anymore? Like, I don't have access to you. Something of that nature. Um, and this is because someone is going through some type of healing journey. Um, they're having to kind of take your focus off of materialistic things because this is someone that is very superficial and they're having to go through some type of growth, some type of healing so that they are in touch with their higher self, their emotional size and things like that, right? Someone is walking away from a marriage as well for some of you because they're finding things out about the person they were in a relationship with and it's just nothing good. Someone's mother is involved in this situation. She took a lot of actions behind the scenes. She could have been like a leader of the pack that was putting, doing things to make sure that this union did not come together. The fact that the Three of Swords is out here, I'm assuming as well that there was some type of love connection that was interfered with and someone's mother played a very big role in it, right? Uh, she was just really stern that you and her son or you and her daughter could not come together. Um, someone thought maybe their child was too good for you or whatever it was you two are from two 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 totally social two totally different social backgrounds right um so she thought her son was still good for you because he has money okay oh lord that's a whole lot that's a whole lot yeah so there is something about someone's like hmm how do i put this how do i put this so you could be like an energy that is self-sufficient. You do everything for yourself. You're not waiting for a handout from people. You're self-reliant and things of that nature. And it bothers people in this institution or even this mother, wife, or whoever, mother figure, wife figure, baby mama figure, whoever this is, it bothers them. So they may have been doing things behind the scenes to interfere with you being in this energy. Someone, they like got together to celebrate your demise. And this demise is to prevent you from receiving your promotion, something of that nature, just to hinder your forward movement because they didn't want to see you in this energy. So there could have been some type of promotion that was stolen, some type of inheritance that was stolen, something that was supposed to put you in this privileged lady energy. Someone did something to steal that from you. Someone wanted to block your healing. There's a whole lot going on behind the scenes, um, but it has to be all corrected because that's how the universe works. Things have to be brought into balance, right? Um, because our universe is a logical and one, a logical one and one that operates on morals. So things always have to be brought into balance and someone is being exposed. Someone is walking away because the truth is exposed and someone is being exposed as a thief as well. Okay. Someone in here is a gossiper. Someone is a gossiper. So this masculine may have betrayed you to be with this person or to partner up with this person. Meanwhile, the person they chose over you was 
possibly telling their personal business to everyone else. So it's kind of like you walking around thinking you're the big bad wolf and people are laughing at you when you walk away and things like that. That's very embarrassing. It's like this masculine went from laughing at you with these people to now being the laughing stock and it's really embarrassing. So he may be going through some type of intense emotions right now where he's having a hard time accepting that people are laughing at him because of they because they were able to trick him. Someone here is easily manipulated. That is very easy to manipulate someone in this scenario. Um, and I think he's now coming into awareness about this. Someone is a pushover. But when you see this person, you're not going to get that notion that there's someone you can easily push around, which is interesting. Uh, you, some of you may be receiving some type of financial pay. A low God. <laughs> Some of you may be receiving some type of financial payout from an institution or from someone and someone wants to come in and steal that. There's a whole plan for someone to come in and steal this financial payout before you receive it, but they're being forced to walk away. Someone is going to have to walk away because the moment they try to do that, they're going to be exposed. They could end up facing legal issues for that as well. Um, this thief, there's a thief in here. They're being told to kind of walk away from this plan that they are coming up with. Okay. Someone that's a thief in here that may have, you know, give money to people, as I mentioned earlier, to do you something, to do something to you, to interfere with a love connection or just a friendship. And this thief is friends with this masculine, this king of cups. He's This, this person is friends with this king of cups. And this is a friendship that's long, that has a long rap sheet attached to it. Like they've been friends for a long time. So this person would have never expected this masculine or whoever this is to do something like this to him. So they're going through, this person is going through quite a lot. This King of Cups, he is going through quite a lot. He's realizing that he's been trusting the wrong people. And for someone, he's he's realizing that he chose the wrong energy over you, the wrong female. It's just a lot of rule awakenings going on, okay? Someone may want you to share your abundance with them. I'm telling you. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, they were paying people to cause you endings, to interfere with your forward movement. It's like someone wanted you just done, flat out done, even possibly not here anymore. And someone didn't care how it was done. They could have hired an assassin or something like that, tried to poison something. For you all, it's different, but someone did not care. It's like they just wanted to off your light, to just off your light. For some of you, there could be a masculine in here that's considering a side. I hope you don't do that. Like, you just need to be, you know, patient with yourself to go through this experience. What you're going through is absolutely necessary for your growth and your ascension. It's not easy, but healing is not something that's easy. And those of us that have been through it, we can tell you that it is not meant to be easy. It is extremely hard. It's something people try to avoid, but if you want to be on the other side where you're living a fulfilling life and living as the best version of yourself, where it's easier for you to manifest positive things in your life, this change is absolutely imperative. It's something that ne that's necessary, okay? Someone has been bribing people behind the scenes and this has been in there. Like someone would not be able to bribe people anymore because their finances have been shooken up, right? Whereas they used to have money to just pay any and everyone to do whatever it is they wanted them to do. Their finances are being hindered. Something is going on with their finances. It's not where it used to be. Someone needs to focus on bringing their life to balance. It's like they're focused on you trying to cause you endings, paying people to bring trouble to you and things like that. But their life is not in balance. There's something this person is hiding behind the scenes. It's either that they have some type of sick obsession with you or this person is a thief. Someone may be into more dark things and they're letting other people know. So there is something they need to work on in their personal life that's more important than what they are doing in regards to you. But this is someone stubborn and they're not going to do that. But they're going to find out the hard way. I don't know what I did to my cards. Okay, let's do this. Excuse me, folks, while I get myself together.
It's like they're all backwards, forwards, all kinds of positions. I don't know what I did to do that. But please excuse me. Excuse my nonsense. Okay. Let's see if we can have this together. Well, have mercy. All right, let's try this again, darling. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, someone has more important fish to fry, but they're not focusing on those fish to fry. They have bigger fish to fry, but they're more so concerned with you, the little fish to fry. And it's not even that you're a fish to fry. It's that someone is picking a fight with you. Someone has made it their mission to take you down. Someone has made it their mission to block you. They don't want you working a fulfilling job. They don't want you working a good job. They don't want you happy in life. They don't want you having good connections with other people. Someone in here is like, if I can't have you, no one can have you, honey. You can go to jail or you can go under six feet under. Regardless, we're going to live a fulfilling life with someone else, right, collective? Um, But someone here is losing their bunkers. They are absolutely losing it. It's a lot of characters in here, and I'm not sure why they're all why and how they're all connected but i will assume it has something to do with either someone from your past whether this was work or relationship there is someone from your past that connects all of these people coming after you and trying to interfere with your forward movement this was a huge collaboration by a group of people right yeah i'm telling you they were paying people to block a union from coming together they are interfering with someone making a decision or they've been interfering with someone making a decision. Do you see how the Six of Cups is right above the lovers? This was an absolute genuine connection. Someone had not just a friendship with you, but they possibly had a genuine love connection with you, right? Where it's not like they only loved you, they actually liked you. Like, and it was reciprocated and someone didn't realize what they had with you and they let it go because of either greed or stupidity, one of them or the both, okay? And then some. Um, But someone has been, bri a thief has been bribing people behind the scenes to interfere with this connection. Either there is a masculine, so one of you, you are friends with another masculine and this person is under the table or like in the closet or something. And he may have some type of romantic interest in you. Um, and he has never told you. This person romanticizes about you and him being together. But you're not that way. And the fact that he knows you want to be with your soul twin. Or you can have this genuine connection with someone. Of course you are heterosexual. Heterosexual. The fact that you can have this genuine connection with someone else is pissing him off because this person sits back and romanticizes about you and him being in a relationship and things like that. But you you don't know that because you don't have these types of conversation with this person. It's really eerie if you think about it. There's nothing wrong with being in that community. That is part of our ascension, living in these different lives. And all of us have at some point in a lifetime been that before. But it's one thing if you know the person that you are interested in does not go that way and then you try to cause mayhem in their life to to interfere with their connections or their forward movement. But for a masculine out there, there is someone that is interested in you romantically and this is a male friend. Okay, maybe if you become aware of it, you just let them know that you're not that way, but you do support them being themselves, living in their truth. Maybe you can help them find a partner or something like that, but just let them know you're not interested in them in that way. And, and you hope that that's not going to interfere with your connection, your friendship moving forward, but that you're just interested in them as a friend, right? A pal. Um, yeah, so the, honey, we, there's so many stories coming out. I'm so sorry. It seems like I'm just getting off track, but I keep getting different, you know, stories coming to me. Oh, Lord, but someone has been bribing people to dead this connection. They don't want you two coming together, but it looks like it's still going to happen because the chariot is out here, which is divine justice balance being brought into a situation. So someone will be taking action to come towards you, Queen of Cups. Oh, my gosh. And you're showing up here as a high priestess and the Queen of Cups. You are absolutely gifted, intuitive. Um... That is crazy. The high priestess is someone that 
lives within duality, right? They see and can communicate with the spirit realm and, of course, the physical. This is like a spiritual teacher. They have a lot of gifts. They have all of that inner knowing, their wise knowing. And people always say high priestesses are all knowing. No, they're not. They are wise knowing. They just know things other people don't know. But you are a high priestess and then you're showing up as the queen of cups, meaning that you are someone very uh, intuitive, very spiritual, very nurturing, very kind. And this is something that also helps intensify your gifts and things like that. This aspect of you, that is absolutely beautiful. Right, that is absolutely beautiful. A lot of high priestesses, when you meet them, it's like they're just kind of like dead in the personality personality department. But it's like I don't think they realize that if they can learn how to embrace this side of them, it intensifies their gift because Source wants us to live in this energy. It's easier to connect to Source when you are in this energy. It does not matter what kind of gifts and stuff you have or what you don't have. But when you reside in this energy, it is so much more easier to communicate with source, uh, you know, just connect with source overall. But as you can see, Queen of Cups, your forward movement is absolutely abundant. Someone is advocating on your behalf. The truth has been revealed about your Ten of Pentacles. You are absolutely moving forward. We'll be receiving what is yours. Divine justice is here. I'm telling you, and it's going to lead to a new beginning for you. This is an opportunity or just a fresh start. You receiving your financial abundance is going to put you into a fresh new beginning in new life and things like that. This is possibly not something you are expecting. Um, but the fact that you are a high priestess and a queen of cups means that you intuitively know that something belongs to you. Someone may have tried to block you. This could also, also explain why... People were dismotivated to block you two from coming together or to block you from receiving something or just to bl block you from receiving some type of promotion in life. It is because of how big this promotion is. This is a Ten of Pentacles. This is something very abundant. Okay, this is like building a business together. So for some of you, it's not that it's even an inheritance. It's just you and this masculine were supposed to have a Ten of Pentacles together. But they may have lost that, yeah. Mm. This person lost their Ten of Pentacles. And they're not happy about that, obviously. Someone lost their Ten of Pentacles. So they say you're going to be having this Ten of Pentacles with someone new. It's going to be with someone new. So this person is going through healing, but I think when they're done going through healing, they may end up with someone else. But your Ten of Pentacles is going to be with someone else. Someone like wants you to forgive them so that you two can move on. And for some of you, you probably will end up with this person because <sighs> that's your soul twin, whatever they call it, call it. I don't really put a big emphasis on that title. Is that someone can be your soul twin, your soul mate, but they can be like extremely toxic and you have to make the decision if you want to settle with them, settle for them and things like that. And I don't promote things like that. Like people need to put in the work to heal. No one is worth your peace of mind. No one is worth your heart. No one is worth just your health overall, your mental, your physical, spiritual health. No one is worth that. <coughs> so if someone is choosing to reside in negative energy, then you kind of have to let them go. You can't force something like that to turn into something it's not going to turn into. But if this person does actually do the work to, <coughs> excuse me, if they do actually do the work to heal and things like that and they come towards you genuinely, then I don't see a problem with you connecting to them or with them because most of the time, if you are a star C, the types of people that are allowed in your energy, is they are regulated. It's regulated. Like source is not just going to let anyone in your energy because you vibrate at, at a specific frequency, a high frequency. Uh, so if you are around a lot of dark energy and things like that, it lowers your energy. This is something dark workers do as well to lower your energy. 
your frequency so that they can so it's easier for them to take from you manipulate people about you manipulate energy around you and things like that but source is going to regulate the types of energies that are allowed around you because that connection you have with source needs to stay as strong as it possibly can right that goal connection goal chain connection uh that goal line we have with source um, the line to our soul is silver and the line to source is gold, right? Um, because we are offsprings of source. This is why it, the line to our higher self is silver and then the line to source is gold because source is the original creator and being of everything that is. Um, yeah, that's a little bit too much for this channel right now but let's go ahead and get back into this reading but this masculine whoever this is is going through some type of like rude rude awakening i'm telling you going through some rude awakening okay a rude awakening Someone is like disappointed because they're not going to have this 10 of pentacles with you or the possibilities of them having it with you is just over. It's just over and they're walking around with a mask. Someone is heartbroken. And then these people, they interfere with your promotion. They were celebrating they were celebrating that they had blocked something for you only to be disappointed. They lost a lot of money. They will not be recovering. They lost a lot of money. They may be sending someone to gaslight you as well to off give you some type of false love offer, immature love offer, something like that. But you already, already intuitively know that this person is coming towards you and you're going to reject them before they even open their mouths. It's just a whole lot of planning going on and nothing is working out. You would think that will let them know to stop planning all these malicious deeds and whatever acts, but it's not going to stop them. They're going to keep trying to manipulate you and manipulate the situation. Yeah. And something I'm hearing, this masculine is heartbroken because he's realizing you offer him a genuine friendship and he gaslighted you. Like he didn't take your friendship serious. Someone may have ghosted you. Some of you, you didn't even have any type of romantic in, uh, relationship with this person, but you were genuine with them. So you offered them a genuine friendship and they were gaslighting you, playing you in your face. And now they want to mend things with you, right? And you're moving on. I'm telling you, you are moving on. This King of Swords has been showing up a lot in my readings. You are moving on, taking charge of your life, laying down the law. You're authoritative now. It's that you don't care who it is, who is not, who it not, who it's not. Lord have mercy, but you're taking charge of your life and moving forward because this whole situation is just done with. You're just kind of over it and you're going to receive a commitment from somewhere else. But this person still wants to give you a commitment. They still think they can heal things with you, but they have to go through some type of healing before they can connect with you, right? They may end up trying to fight for your, your love, fight for your affection, fight for your time, something like that. So they're going from giving you some type of immature offer to now taking charge of their life. And they're showing up here in the King of Swords energy as well, right? And now they want to give you some type of solid offer. Say, hey, I put an end to the past. I have put an end to all these toxic ways, my toxic connections and things like that. I want to give you... I want to have something solid with you, something promising with you. Someone may have went and paid for some type of love spell, something like that with some of you. But someone paid for some type of love spell. Yeah, it, no, it's a no. 
It is a no. It's a you're not accepting that offer because you're going to have a hard time trusting someone like this after they've betrayed you. And that's common for anyone. If someone betrays you before they know you very well or after you extend a genuine friendship to them, can you really trust them? No. So you're not re you're not accepting this offer. This is this same person finding the strength to come and give you this offer, but you're not accepting it. It's like, no, I, I don't know if I can trust you. I don't trust you. I don't think you have my best interest at heart. I don't think you are someone sincere. And these are all things this person does not want to hear. So they've lost quite a lot. They not only lost you, they lost your 10 of pentacles. They lost everything. They're going to have to start over. They're going to have to start over. It's like they're, they're garnering, garnering the strength to go for it, to take action. Someone is garnering the strength to be a little bit more authoritative. Someone could be a pushover and they are, you know, trying to change that about themselves. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're trying to change that about themselves. They're, trying, they're learning how to stand their ground, say what it is they have to say, defending themselves, possibly defending you as well. They may be bringing light to some type of betrayal that happened and they may be owning up to their part they play in it as well but someone is going through like a 360 degree change and it's not something they can they can stop right it's like they're coming to you and say hey i would like to give you this and you're like no i don't want that like i don't trust you like, I remember what you did. I know what you did. Maybe you think I don't know what you did. And it's going to break their hearts. And I keep hearing someone saying, please, will you just give me a chance to show you that I've changed, that you can trust me, that I am loyal. Dang. My goodness. Someone wants you to see them in a different light. They want you to see them as someone that is loyal, someone that you can't trust. Yeah, someone that... That's true. Someone that's honest. And it's going to be hard for you to change your mind about this person because they did something really horrendous. Something really horrendous. I don't know why I keep hearing something about overseas bank accounts. Someone may have stolen some money and put it in an overseas bank account or something of that nature, but that has been being brought to my attention a lot. And I don't know if it has to do with this situation but someone stole some money and they put it in an overseas bank account under possibly a different name. Like they're hiding it. They're hiding this money. It does not belong to them. I may have to look into that a little bit more, but someone definitely stole some money, put it in an overseas account, it's not in their name, and they've been doing this for years. This is not their first time. And this is how they've been getting away with it. And I just heard something of a wire transfer. Secret wire transfer, something like that. Like it's not traceable, it's untraceable. Honey, I don't know how all of that stuff work. I don't know, I'm not tech savvy like that. Like I can build a website, but outside of that, I'm not tech savvy to the point where, you know, I can tell you how to do all the extra stuff in between. Like I've had my communications hacked in the last few months and things like that. Like my emails and things like that. Someone has been blocking it. Someone has been uh, interfering with my calls and text messages, all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's been like a whole battle just to even be able to post on my channel because at some point, when I would try to post, someone would try to delete the videos and then I would have to repost it. Or if I like tried to post even like a 10, 15, 30 minute video, they had it to the point where it would take like 12, 10, 12 hours just for the video to post. God forbid I tried to post an hour video. It would take sometimes 24 hours or over 24 hours just for the video to post. Um, when I call, someone will hop on the call to listen to what I'm talking about who i'm talking to what i'm saying it's been a very interesting uh, uh experience but it's not really something that is like oh my gosh i mean when it first started i'm not, I'm not going to lie when i when it first started i was like 
a little surprised and a bit shocked as well and it uh, and it unnerved me but then i was just there, like that is so immature that is so immature and i think somebody someone or people are doing this because i'm supposed to receive some type of communication but they're blocking it so but it's not something like i'm like oh my gosh they're gonna steal my money honey there's nothing in there for you to steal so you can do what you want okay but there's some type of fraudulent activity going on where someone may have stolen some money and put it into a bank account um so that it cannot be retrieved and someone did this on purpose is what i'm hearing it was done on purpose it's like they didn't want you to have the money so they put it in some type of bank account overseas yeah Someone could be being investigated as well. And maybe the authorities don't know that that's what this person did. Like this, this money that they're looking for is already like in a whole different country under a different name. Something like that. People are committed. It's like, do you ever like think like these thieves and criminals, a lot of them are really talented at what they do. But can you imagine how amazing their lives would be if they invested that amount of energy into their own lives like using those gifts and talents that they have to upgrade their lives in the right way man can you imagine as a criminal not having to go to bed every night worrying about you being cut about someone finding out that you have a secret account that you do things with or you put things in that don't belong to you man anyways Yeah, someone is hunting back to our read. You uh, you'll get used to me. I'll be doing a read and then I'll wander off somewhere because there's information being given to me and I have to get it out. But there's someone that is upset or they may just be hesitant to come towards you because they think that you are not going to see them in a positive light. They want you to see that they've changed that their character has improved, they are doing the work to change or something like that. But I don't think you're going to want to get in any type of connection with this person because the image of them and how they treated you in the past may be embedded in your mind. So it's going to be hard for you to open up to this person like you did in the past. It's that someone is trying to relive the past, but you cannot nothing happens the same twice so you're going to have your guard up at this person even though they're giving you a solid offer and things like that this is something they've thought about a long time before giving to you um but you're going to have your guard up because you don't trust this person because of something they did in the past right and the only reason like now they're having good character is because they went through this betrayal if they had never gone through this betrayal by the hands of their own families and friends they will not be giving you this offer because someone's eyes are not open uh, or their eye is not open or their eye is open, but they disregard doing the right thing. And this is because someone has some type of obsession with money. Listen, yeah, I am absolutely on the mark with this. Someone has an obsession with money having the finer things in life, looking like money, smelling like money, feeling like money talking like money, moving like money, anything money. That is what this person has been uh, concerned with, but they've been humble. They've lost a lot, a whole lot. There's a lot of cards. Someone has lost quite a whole lot. Oh yeah. And they still want to have this fresh start with you but you're going to be having this new beginning by yourself possibly with a new soulmate you're like you're like stand, you're defensive towards this person it's like no stay over there i don't want you near me i don't have any hate in my heart for you i forgive you for what you did but how can you trust someone like that and i think that's what a lot of you are struggling with and i don't blame you is that how do you expect me to trust you but you, some of you, some of these people were advocating to have you put, yeah, there, no, it's not happening. Some of these people were advocating to have you pull out of a home, have you fired from a job, 
trying to break up marriages and relationships and friendships and things like that, even relationships with families and things like that. These people turn families against you and things like that. This is how committed they were. Someone didn't know that they had partnered up with a dark practitioner that they call a friend or a family member. Someone thought they knew it all. Someone thought they knew it all because of the people that were around them. And they found out the hard way that they indeed did not know it all. Someone is looking for a genuine energy around them and literally there's none. There is no one genuine around them and they are remembering that you were the genuine person around them. And the fact that they know that they'll never have access to you again, they'll never experience this type of energy again is devastating to them. Like they are, someone is crying a lot. Someone is crying a lot because they're realizing what they've lost. I hear a masculine, and I think this is in future terms, saying, look what you cost me. So this could be like after you have achieved success and this person is seeing you somewhere or something like that. They're going to be telling someone, look what you cost me. This could be like a masculine you were in a relationship with or this person that you extended a friendship to two and they neglected it they're going to be telling some type of jizzy bell or some type of friend friend look what you cost me you cost me everything but i think this is in future that they're going to be saying this okay but this chapter is over that you you have a fresh start ahead of you because you're receiving some type of ten, ten of pentacles um something you're working on is going to grow very rapidly and it's going to be successful and it's helping you put an end to all this toxicity it's not that you're toxic it's that you've been dealing with a lot of toxic people um that feel entitled to what is yours someone does not like that you don't move to the beat of their drums or other people's drums you move to the beat of your own drums someone is bothered by someone else's way of living it's like they want you to be in the box that they are in. They want to confine you within a box, but you are a rebel. You move to the beat of your own drums. If there is no drum, well, you're beating a drum in your head. Someone does not like that. They don't like that you are different, but your difference is what's good about you. It's what makes you special. And someone doesn't like that. Like you had that it factor, that je ne sais quoi. You have that about you. You have that about you and it bothers someone. And this, someone may have like some type of clouded judgment, misconception about what it is you do or who you are, but they're not willing to let go of that illusion. Like even though they are wrong about you, they may even know that they're wrong about you. They're not willing, willing to change their mind about you because they feel more comfortable and at peace thinking that you are a bad person, preaching the message that you are a bad person. And people may not even be listening to this person anymore because their character is exposed. Let's go ahead and do our angel number. Oh, that was a whole lot. But I am so glad you all, everything is working out for you in divine timing. You all have a lot of fresh starts. They are coming ahead of you or you're headed to. And that is absolutely beautiful. You're ending these toxic chapters and with these karmics, people that don't have your best interest at heart. It's like you're giving and giving to these types of people and they keep taking and taking but never giving back. All of those, <laughs> all of that is over. Look, this flipped out. So I didn't even have to shuffle my deck much. And that came out. So we're going to do that 33, 6. Okay, it said any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Absolutely. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be hiding. Oh, that is beautiful. I am expanding. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, growth, legacy. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.